Hi everybody, Stone here. We're over here at uh, Dave's towing facility where he has a 1974 Thing, Volkswagen Thing. Very rare, very rare classic car. Dave, what do you plan on doing to this car right now to uh, use Dr. X for? What's, the, what's your plan for right now? Well, my plan to use Dr. X is I'm going to be spraying the product on all the rusty areas. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to pressure wash it and we'll see what happens. Okay, great. Now, Dave, You've been in the body shop business before, correct? Correct. I was in the body shop business for approximately 10 years. I worked on uh, Steve Saline's projects, uh, several cars I went to the SEMA show, and now I own a tow company called Southside Towing. Beautiful. So what's the normal process that you're going to do when we do this floorboards in this car right now? Because the pans are rusty and corroded, which you'll see in the videos when we get to that point. What's your normal process? Well, generally we would separate the car, so we would pull the pan apart from the car, and we'd send it out to sandblast. Okay. Sandblast is actually going to kind of pit the metal. Uh, we're going to have sand everywhere. Okay. And hopefully with Dr. X, we're going to wash everything away. Well, with Dr. X, we're going to clean this rust out of the pan. There'll be no removal. There'll be no work, no sandblasting required whatsoever. In a matter of 20 minutes, this car will be ready to paint or primer or whatever he needs to do or body work that needs to finish it. So let's go over here and have a look inside and show you what the rust is what we're talking about. Come on over here, Dave. Now, normally, Dave, this is a pretty rusty-ass pan, correct? Correct. Okay. And what we'd actually do is pull the body off away from the pan, so that way we could sandblast everything and then seal it with a uh, epoxy primer. Okay. Normally, you pull all these bolts off here, right? Yes. All these bolts have to come off. We have to separate the body itself from the actual pan. And that's the normal process, correct? That's correct. Okay. Which is a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of money. Yeah. And we'd actually have to reseal the pan, put a new gasket on it. And that's just going to take us uh, 20 to 30 hours to do that process. Okay, well, this process we're doing now with the Dr. X is going to take about 20 minutes to continually finish this product. It'll be back to bare metal, original. And then we're going to neutralize it, and then we're going to seal it. So after that, you can let it sit for a while, and take the unit, and then do what you need to do with it later on. All right, folks. Now we're going to spray Dr. X on this thing. Dave's got the product in his hand. There's Dr. X. Spray bottle set up. Dave, go ahead and start spraying. And spray it and load it full. Took all that metal real good. Now, is Dr. X uh, toxic? No. Is this any kind of an acid chemical? No, there's no acids or chemicals in it whatsoever. It's all earth friendly. I wouldn't recommend drinking it like anything. It's not good to drink, but it will not cause any harm or any problems to anything. Soak that metal real good. But sometimes there's an odor that comes out of it. That's why you do a lot of this stuff outside. So as you can see, he's spraying the pan. You can actually see the rust uh, dissipating right dissipating now, can't you? Right now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And like I said, in a matter of minutes, it'll be clean. Just keep soaking that metal. See it coming off over there in the corner? Oh yeah, it's already coming off. Make sure you get that top, get that brake line, get the brake thing there, soak that whole thing up real good, both sides. Very good. Get back back here and you'll get all that, just soak all that. Now you can see it right here as it's already starting to clean itself. It's already cleaning it, isn't it? What we're gonna do, folks, is we're gonna soak this, clean it. It'll take about probably between a gallon to a gallon and a half of product to get this perfectly clean. Get inside the rails in there. Okay, there you go. All inside there. Everywhere there's going to be metal. And just, you want to get all that out. They'll clean all that rust out. Both sides. And then once we're done, folks, we're going to clean this real good. And we're going to pressure wash it. And then we're going to do it again with Dr. X. And then after we're done with the Dr. X, we're going to neutralize it and then seal it. And this puppy will be ready, ready to go. Get the top of the, up there you go. Put all that, just keep soaking it back for it. It'll take it all off. 
Now, folks, when you spray this on here, it will not harm paint, glass, rubber, plastic. It will not harm that steering wheel. It will not harm anything in our cables, wires. As you can see right here, folks, there's wires in the floor. Right down there. Dr. X all over it. It will not affect that plastic. It will not affect the rubber, the coating, any of that stuff. Hi everybody, this is the second step in cleaning this Volkswagen thing. Dave, we're going to be pressure washing now, so you're going to take your pressure washer, okay, and you're going to walk over here and you're going to blast this car and clean it, and then people will see how clean it is right now. Solution's been on there for about three and a half to four minutes of Dr. X on the car, and you're going to see how clean it becomes within three to five minutes. We're going to do the process one more time with Dr. X to finalize all the rust on the car. So Dave, I'm going to fire it up for you and get ready to pressure wash. Sounds good. Now you see folks, almost all the rust is gone. There's a little small amount of rust left. When we're done cleaning this, take a shot back and suck the raining water out. We're gonna come back and shoot Dr. X again over it, finalize the rest of the rust. Then we're gonna neutralize it and seal it. Go ahead, Dave. Everybody, now this is the next process. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna shop back all the water out real quick because there's really no drainage in this pan on this Volkswagen. So Dave, what do you think so far of Dr. X of what it's done so far? That's yeah, pretty amazing. In a matter of what, three, four minutes? Three, four minutes. It looks like a lot of the rust is already gone. And now we're gonna shop back it up. Go ahead, Dave, shop back this bad boy up. <laughs>
folks, how clean this is becoming now with just a small amount of Dr. X in time. We're going to do this process with Dr. X one more time after this. Finalize all the rest of the rust and this baby will be ready. Put Dave over to the other side. And sometimes, folks, it takes a little longer, especially if it's really deep rust. Sometimes you have to do this process two or three times. So you're only talking 20 to 30 minutes. How's it looking, Dave? I would say we uh, probably got rid of the 70, maybe 80 percent of the rust. You know you can see right here, there is the rust. We're all metal, almost uh, ready to be painted. Makes uh, the body man's life a lot easier, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Well, you know the years you've been in the body shop, you know what it requires to do all this process. Dr. X and start spraying that pan again. Alrighty. Right here, let's get inside and watch him. Now Dave's putting on the second coat of Dr. X. He's gonna soak it. And you're gonna watch the rest of this rust disappear. part of the cleaning process that Dave's doing right now on this Volkswagen thing. If you go up there and look, you can see that uh, pretty much all the rust is gone. Now Dave's doing his last bit of sandblast or pressure washing right now. It is clean, and then when we're done, we're going to neutralize it, and then we're going to seal it. And this metal will be done. Look how clean that metal is, folks. Almost like brand new. Okay, folks, we just got done pressure washing this and cleaning it. As you look now, where it's all rusty and nasty and tore up, you can see the metal now. How clean this metal is. So Dave, you just got done cleaning your own car. Tell me what you think of Dr. X so far in the 25 minutes it's taken to clean your rusty Volkswagen thing. It's amazing. You can see it ate all the rust and you can see the pitting from the rust and the rust is all gone. It ate it up down to the core, didn't it? So what do you think, Dave? You've been in the body shop business for a long time. You've done this. You know what it takes to do this. So what do you think? This just save you a whole lot of time and money? Save me a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money. Don't have to send that out for sandblasting and it doesn't damage the paint. You can see the paint's all intact. You can see the paint's intact here. Look at that. The paint is still there. It just ate up the rust only. Did, did not it, affect the paint in any way, shape, or form. Didn't hit any of my wiring here. 
so you don't have to strip the car apart. It gets underneath it all. So the battery wires aren't affected. The paint's not affected. It only eats rust. Now Dave, go ahead and grab that neutralizer. Dave's going to do the neutralizer now. And what this does is this shuts the rust down. And then we seal it. Spray it on nice and heavy. There you go. Soaked up metal all good, all the sides, controls, everything. There we go. Do you notice that? No. Nope. No plastics. Whereas with paint strippers, it would actually melt and eat all this stuff away. Tear up all the plastics, corrodes the metals, eats up your wiring. Dr. X does none of that. Now, is this enough of the. Uh... Neutralizer is great, you're done. Okay, Dave, this is the last step it's called the sealer, Dr. X sealer. Just spray it on real heavy. What this is going to do, folks, is going to coat the metal and keep any of the rust from coming back and bothering you while you're sitting doing the rest of work on your car. Soak it real good. Put it everywhere. And after you're done, just let it sit on there. Don't worry about it, and it's done. Then you come back and work on it or need whatever you want to do. Or you can blow it or draw it, shot back it up. Give it about five minutes of sitting time. It's going to soak into the metal, and you're done. And I believe Dave's going to paint this floorboard, or he's going to uh, rhino line it, so we don't know what he's going to do yet. Well, Dave, tell me what. What do you think? I am very impressed with Dr. X. Spent uh, 25, 30 minutes on a Saturday and stripped my whole floor of all the rust. So next week, we're going to be shooting either rhino liner or paint on it. And that's going to... thank Dr. X for making a great product. Thank you, Dave. So, folks, this 74 thing is done. It's ready for its uh, painting of the floorboard or whatever Dave needs to do to this car. And I just saved him about a week's worth of work and sandblasting and all the other fun things that go with this. So, Dr. X took care of business, folks. Now, boom, we're done.